about in just a short period of time she's going to look at the sage she's gonna bring a leaf back this is what the sage looks like oh. okay. sage helps with digestion problems so sage helps with digestion problems right yeah <laughs> do you have digestion problems no okay go eat sage <laughs> wait what Okay, sage helps with digestion problems. It also helps with loss of appetite. Can you believe that? It helps with digestion problems and loss of appetite. Yeah. Mind blown. Ooh, and another thing about sage. Okay, I'm going to talk while she's gone. It helps with heartburn. And so, like, if you eat something spicy, you can go and just eat, like, a piece of sage, and, like, it'll help with heartburn. Sage. You can rub it on your teeth, and it'll help clean your teeth. <laughs> it's, it's natural teeth whitening. Now your teeth can be shiny clean without smelling bad. Ah. And with using your natural fresh toothpaste. Okay. It also helps with gas. <laughs> It helps with gas, and it helps with stomach pains. Like if you ever got a big stomach pain, oh, I've had those before. Oh, no. get, get, then go eat some sage. Sage, sage helps with diarrhea. Ugh. Ew. So if you ever have like diarrhea, because like you've been drinking a lot of coffee or something, <laughs> that's how I get it. I drink a lot of coffee, and then actually I don't drink coffee. Um, it helps with diarrhea and it helps with bloating. <coughs> bloating. Our goats bloat. We had that once and she was fine. We got a vet. <laughs> okay. It helps with bloating. Uh, you can use it to help with heal cold sores. So if you ever had like a cold sore, you can get a cream. You can get a cream. Put sage in it and rhubarb. Don't like the exact measurements. You can research that for yourself, I guess. But that's the three ingredients. And then you can rub it on your cold sore and like, wow, that's magical. But it helps with sore throats. And you can take it. Are you talking about the tincture? Huh? What? Huh? Oh, sage. Uh, oh, the, the sage tincture. The good gurgle. Oh, the gurgling thing. Yeah, you can boil water and the good gurgle. You can boil some water, add some sage into it, let it cool, uh, strain out the water, and then you can gurgle it. It helps with sore throats. Um, it helps with gum disease. So if you have like gum disease, it helps with sore mouth, throat, and tongue, like we were talking about a little bit. It helps with gum disease, sore mouth, throat, and or tongue. And it helps with swollen or painful nasal passages. These are your nasals, and no one knows what a nasal is. It's your nose, okay? All right, it helps with swollen uh, or painful nasal passages. Some people, this is interesting. Some people uh, inhale sage to help with asthma. We don't have asthma, but if you do have asthma, you can just inhale this thing. Oh, inhale it for uh, asthma. You can use sage. You can use it to use as uh, spices. Sage can be used as spices in like food, salads, so dressing. What? Uh, sage. Oh, this is really interesting. Sage might help imbalance. No, sage might help chemical imbalances in the brain that cause symptoms as Alzheimer disease. Yeah, it's if you take two leaves of it for four months, it will. Your brain will start picking back up everything and will start learning again. Oh, the sage tincture, guys. The sage tincture helps with everything that I was just talking about, okay? So, so like, the sage tincture will help with, like, sore throats, everything, everything. Oh, our brother had a sore throat just earlier today, but then he took the magical sage. And, and it, it cleared it up. And it cleared it up. Aww. So 
Sage is really good for anything. My phone. You do it right there. You just punched me, didn't you? <laughs> okay. So the Sage tincture, uh, if you want to make it kid friendly, because like most tinctures, you use alcohol. Ugh. We like making it kid friendly though, so that we can have it because we don't take alcohol. That's weird. Um, and so most tinctures though use like rum something alcohol to like rub what, what? rubbing alcohol rubbing i say no not rubbing yes rubbing alcohol no that's to rub what they use alcohol usually for tinctures and like soak it in but instead we use vegetable glycerin <coughs> if you find like a tincture recipe and it calls for alcohol you can just use vegetable glycerin because alcohol is not good for you Okay, so Sage is like a powerhouse. Power, 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 power. Okay, guys, get over here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and eat Sage. Woo! Bippity boppity, bippity boppity, bippity boppity, boo!